Part right here is called Julius and the Mind Trap from the work Ferial Blarius by Robert Smith III. There was once upon a time, long, long ago, that there existed a golden dolphin, long, long ago. And this golden dolphin was special, knowing that dolphin was the same. He went by the name of Julius. Julius was not simple or plain, for Julius not only swam, but Julius the Golden Dolphin could fly. Julius was more special than any other creature, more than anyone could ever realize. For Julius the Golden Dolphin was capable of doing extraordinary things, things that no one could imagine, things beyond everyone's wildest dreams. And there did come a day that there was news about a place called the Mind Trap, where everyone was disappearing when they entered the mind trap. When they entered the mind trap, all who did dis disappeared, all who did disappeared just like that. And so Julius reluctantly traveled to the mind trap as fast as he possibly could, for the news of the mind trap was horrible. The news of the mind trap was not good. And when Julius flew into the mind trap, the mind trap did try to swallow him whole and even tried to cast a spell upon him, as I have been told. But Julius was more than fast, more than clever as could be, causing the mind trap to swallow itself whole, never existing again for eternity. And when the mind trap was vanquished, there did appear a great golden key. This was not an ordinary key. The holder of this key was given great powers and extraordinary abilities. And from then on, Julius the Golden Dolphin would always be there to save the day forevermore. This is the story of Julius and the Mind Trap, a story told forever and evermore. The story right there is called Julius and the Mind Trap from the work Ferial Blarius by Robert Smith III.